Hi, this is Pastor Rick. God's kind of strength. That's what I want to talk about today. There's a passage in Isaiah chapter 40 and it talks about that the fact that we can uh, walk and not faint. You know, there's the flying and there's the running, but I'm going to tell you the hardest part about life isn't when you're flying high. It's not when you're running around. It's when you have to settle down and walk the walk. That's the hard part of life. And yet God has the strength that you and I need in order to be able to strength, have strength to walk and not grow weary. Never in the history of the world have the nations of the world possessed so many lethal armaments, so many ways to bring death, so many ways to bring destruction to the human race. Some of the most brilliant minds that we have in mankind spend their entire lives developing new and more sophisticated ways to destroy life. But have all the weapons brought us lasting security? On the contrary, if anything, they've made the world less secure. At, in, at any one time, at least 30 wars rage in various parts of the world. That's discouraging. In addition to countless instances of civil unrest, I'm reminded of the false prophets in Jeremiah's day. They said, Peace, peace, they say, when the truth is there is no peace. In the midst of this uncertain world and threatening world, we can have peace with God. It comes from putting our trust in the living God. It comes from Isaiah's words written in the time of a great upheaval in his own nation that still speak loud to us today. Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength they shall walk and not faint. You want to know how to keep on walking the walk and how to keep on keeping on when everybody else is getting weary and dropping out? It's go to the Lord. Those who wait on the Lord, serve the Lord and wait on Him. Those are the ones that will have renewed strength and they won't faint. You'll be able to keep on keeping on and finish the course of your life and have your head up the whole way. God bless you. Trust the Lord and walk with him.